This video will show you how to measure the temperature in the sample. Uh, a prerequisite for this uh, is to have the temperature sensor inside the sample. So that is the case right now. As you can see, the temperature sensor, which is that metal rod, is in the sample. So again, it's the metal rod connected to the end of this blue cable. Once you have that going, what you need to do is come here to this uh, STX app. And this is the interface that will allow you to measure the sample temperature. Once the system starts up, you get uh, this. The connection should be successful. If not, let me know. You need to tell it what vessel you have. You need to tell it what the room temperature setting is, which in this case is usually 20 to 22 degrees Celsius. Uh, and then you click on next. So uh, this is the preliminary operation time. You can just set this to zero. And the minimum preliminary operation time will be 30 minutes. Uh, we've already done this. We've poured distilled water. We have the gas mixer at the proper pressure. And so here um, it's sort of trying to equilibrate. We can just skip this step and say it's going to run in quick start mode. And so here are the settings. We need uh, the sample temperature set point to be 37, the room temperature setting 20 to 22, the lens heater, we usually use it at 42, and the power is on. We want the feedback to be on, so this is very important. So here it explains that for feedback to work, you need to have uh, the sensor inside the sample. Say OK. And now you can see this is the measured temperature, and this is the set point. So it's going to try and adjust to get there. And then in this graph, we have various things. We have the sample actual temperature, which is this one. And then we have the temperature of a bunch of other things. Uh, the, the sort of the top uh, of, the, of the heater, the bath heater, the stage heater, and the lens heater here, you can see them. Uh, if you want to log this information, you can do so by clicking here and you can decide what to log. And so I recommend you log everything because there, there might be uh, kind of important information there. And then you decide how often to log it. You can log every five seconds and for how long. And then you can say start. You say start data logging, yes. So it'll start, start, start logging. Uh, when you are done logging, so here we, we just went for kind of a few data points. Uh, you can stop it and then save this and it will save it as a CSV wherever you want. Now the key thing when doing these experiments where you want to measure the temperature, uh, I'm just going to cancel this right now, um, is to make sure that when you start this that you have some sort of reliable um, way of coordinating when you started this and when you started your experiment. So just make sure that when you start the logging, you note the time so that then you can match it to whatever was happening in the experiment. Uh, and then sort of lock all your uh, temperature records to your imaging records or you know when you perfuse things into the sample, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm just gonna stop this and actually save the data so we can take a look and see how it looks. Uh, I'm just gonna put it on the desktop really quickly. Call it test. And let's just take a look at this so you can see what that data looks like. I'm just gonna open it with Notepad. And so you can see here that um, here it explains what the different fields are. And so you have the date, the time, and then uh, temperatures of different things and the sample temperature uh, right here, the PV is the actual temperature in the sample. You can see it's this number. So uh, the key is, since this gives you the time, uh, kind of a timestamp, make sure that you know what was happening, that you have some sort of knowledge of what was happening in the experiment at a given time, so that then you can sync everything up. final important thing to note is that when you are using this STX app, uh, it will override anything that's going on there on the Takai kit. So 
whatever you set here is what's driving uh, the temperature incubator, not whatever you've set necessarily on a temperature incubator.